Welcome back, everybody. We have a special guest joining us here tonight. As the Mariners retire Ken Griffey Jr.'s number 24, he's a Pro Football Hall of Famer. And he passed up being in Ken tonight to be with us tonight. Steve Largent, number 80, Hall of Famer for the Seattle Seahawks. Good to see you, Steve. Former Congressman Oklahoma. Thank you. That's right. Good That's to right. See you. Thank good, you. Good, good to, to be have here. you back in town. You know, the weather is always like this, right? In yeah, Seattle. all the time. You know that. <laughs> what a great night for baseball. A great night to see Ken Griffey's number be retired here with the Mariners. Uh, just a legend in baseball, but a legend certainly uh, in Seattle. When you were playing, and you guys, your years crossed over a little bit. Just a little bit. Just uh, Ken was a uh, uh, rookie in, in 1989, and 1989 was my last year in, mm -hmm. with the Seahawks. I know you're a sports fan. I'm sure you had to pay attention to him. You heard that there was a lot of buildup when he was coming up at that time. Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. He was one of the guys that came came into the league with a lot of expectations. You know, his dad playing and then coaching. And then he actually, before his dad coached, he played with Ken. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Junior played with him. But, uh, yeah, he, he was a guy that uh, everybody expected to do well. And uh, if you would have said then, Hey, King Griffey Jr. is going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame by the end of his career. I don't think there have been very many people that uh, would have argued with you. Steve, you bring up a good point, though. I mean, you finished your career right when Junior was starting his. Right. And it's, it's a, one of the things that was amazing for me when we were teammates and, and I was older than Junior. And it, I was just amazed. You were a star in this city. Um, but at 19, 20 years old, to be basically the face of baseball almost overnight, I thought he handled that terrifically. Yeah, he really did. And, and it, it, everything that he's done uh, has just been uh, such classy, uh, a classy way to handle yourself. And really, he's the model, I think, for uh, a lot of uh, younger athletes coming up in baseball, football, or whatever. Uh, he, he just does it the right way. What do you say to a guy like King Griffey Jr., new to the Hall of Fame? Because that's a, obviously a special honor. You're in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He had some basketball Hall of Famers. I mean, that's an, a very exclusive club. It, it really is. And, uh, you know, I still pinch myself to make sure that I'm in the, the, the Football Hall of Fame. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't think I have to say anything to Ken Griffey Jr. He, he knows uh, uh, all of the guys that have gone before him that have uh, – you know kind of led the way and uh, smoothed the path for him uh, to come along uh, when he did uh, and then get into the Hall of Fame and it's the same way I feel about uh, all the older guys that are in the Hall of Fame in football uh, who uh, you know I owe so much of my uh, career to them mm -hmm. uh, and the things that they showed me and taught me and uh, and and so I'm sure he feels the same way about uh, those that went before him in baseball as well. Getting that number retired is really special. It, it is yours. It is. What's it mean to you? Yeah, well, you know, uh, just to know that uh, there'll never be another uh, player in uh, baseball history, uh, in in Mariner history, that wears number 24. That's special, uh, and that doesn't happen very often. You can't do that a lot uh, uh, in baseball or football. You guys are obviously looking at the people that are down on the field today from different areas of the country all over the place. But this is Seattle. When you when you look at somebody like Junior going into the Hall of Fame, you obviously Gary Payton here today. Just the the names that belong to this city. That has to be something special. Yeah, uh, well, no question it is. Uh, and and I, I really think that King Griffey Jr. is uh, a special guy, uh, not just in baseball, not just in Seattle, uh, but in every in every uh, realm. Uh, because he just uh, led his life and led his career uh, in such an honorable, uh, straightforward uh, way. And, and uh, it was very admirable. I mean, I would never hesitate to tell my boys who came up baseball players uh, to say, you know, look what King Griffey Jr. did. You know, follow his example. Uh, and when you have a dad that can tell his son or sons, in my case, uh, to, to uh, follow Ken Griffey Jr.'s example, I think that's saying a lot. Uh, I know it meant a lot for me and, and it meant a lot for my boys. Inside to Mike Trout, you served time in the United States Congress. What are you doing these days, Steve? Well, I am uh, trying to get used to being retired and it's getting hard. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I'm a person that. Uh, uh, got used to having a busy schedule and and so not having that busy schedule anymore is I'm a little antsy uh, but uh, I'm getting used to it we've moved back to Tulsa from Washington DC where I was the last 12 years and uh, my wife and I are really enjoying being back there we've got uh, 
uh, two of our kids live in uh, Tulsa, uh, one in Oklahoma City, and then one in D.C. So uh, our nine grandkids uh, and I, we, we get to spend a lot of time together. You need to go next door to radio. Our radio producer engineer, Kevin Kremen, is from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, really? How yeah. about that? Yeah. I did not know that. Well, a lot of good people come from Tulsa. Steve. Oh. Good folks. They, they've mentioned it at the, at the start. There's obviously somewhere else you could have been today. I imagine when the organization had called you and asked you to, to be a part of this today, what was that thought process like for you and how difficult was it well, to make Cortez that decision? Well, Cortez and I actually collaborated on that. And, and actually, this is the day today when the induction ceremony occurs at the Football Hall of Fame. Right. And so I should be wearing this jacket in Canton, Ohio <laughs> right now, and I'm not. Uh, but, uh, you know, th this was just a, a, a unique opportunity that we had to come up here and, uh, and honor a guy that uh, uh, really deserves uh, the honor and praise that he receives today and uh, two weeks ago. It's good to see you and Cortez out here. A couple of fo pro football Hall of Famers. I love the jacket. Always great to see that. <laughs> really good touch. Steve, good to see you. Hey, thanks thank you. All the best. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. See you guys later.